I have a bone to pick with Heelys. For some reason, they don't like the idea of adults having fun. What am I talking about? Well, I just got back from C2E2 with my friend Kiera up in Chicago, and we decided as friends, we're like, huh, let's go buy some Heelys together, because that sounds fun, and that's what friends do. Well, guess what? We tried, and out of all of Chicago, there was not a single store that sold a single pair of adult Heelys. What? Not one. They want you to go order them online, which one, sucks the living fun out of like everything, and two, kind of want to try them on first. So alas, both of us went home healy list. But that is not going to stop me. It's time to take matters into my own hands, which probably means spending more money to build a pair of healies than it would cost to just go buy some. Now, 3D printing shoes is not a foreign concept. A lot of companies like Adidas are already selling shoes that are partially 3D printed, and a lot of hobbyists are already playing around with 3D printing them with things like TPU or flexible PLA. However, the shoes I'm trying to make are going to have a wheel in them, which also means is this going to be comfortable? Absolutely not. So I was originally originally looking at some of the existing shoe files that I could find so I could just modify them, but then came to the conclusion that it'd probably just take less time if I started from scratch. So I opened up a new file in Blender and got to work. And don't worry, even though this took a whole day for me to model, I'll, uh, I'll just skip to the end. It's fine. I know it's boring. It's not like I spent the whole day doing it or anything. It's whatever. It's, it's okay. It's done. Just kidding. That's the default cube. So we basically got the top part of the shoe, which will be printed out of more of a flexible PLA, so I don't die. And finally, we've got the middle part that'll be printed out of a rigid filament, because obviously it has to be able to hold this guy, the wheel. Now, uh, can, can this wheel hold my weight? My goal is for it to be entirely 3D printed. However, uh, we're going to have to make an exception for the bearings because if I want to move anywhere, I'm, I'm gonna need them. So we'll see. I say there's like a 15% chance both the shaft and wheel, 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 being 3D printed will actually hold my weight. But we won't know until we try it. So I started printing everything using flexible PLA for the main part of the shoe and PLA plus for the rigid parts like the base and the wheel. Ta-da! It fits! I can tell like where my ankle bone falls is not going to be comfortable. But when we have like laces in there and we tighten it up a little bit, I think for a first try, it's pretty good. So we got the shaft, all the bearings fit over it perfectly. And then the wheel fits over the bearings perfectly too. So I, being the most impatient human being on the face of the planet, decided I wanted to go ahead and see if the wheel shaft could hold my weight. So I lined everything up and I, I, I stood on it. And when I pulled the wheel and the shaft out, the shaft was most definitely bent, which told me maybe it could hold my weight. It just, you know, needed to be a little beefier in the gaps outside the wheel. So instead of trying to dimension things back over in Blender, I whipped out SolidWorks because I'm a little more proficient in it when it comes to stuff like this. After a couple versions here and there, I finally had something that actually held my entire weight without bending and it, it was completely just 3d printed plastic i kid you not all right so let's be honest it would have been a lot smarter to make this tiny little part out of metal if i wasn't going for the fully 3d printed thing but without the right machinery how would i do that well let me tell you a little bit about Zometry. Zometry allows you to manufacture your own design through various types of 3D printing, CNC machining, die casting, injection molding, and more. Anyone with a CAD file can actually upload their own design to Zometry's easy to use quoting engine. You can select exactly how you want it made and get a quote instantly. They offer thousands of different materials and finishing options so you can get your part exactly the way you want it. And it's actually affordable due to their global network of over 5,000 manufacturing partners. So if you're a company or just a hobbyist like me, be sure to go check out Zometry to get your project started. Until October 31st, you can actually use the code EMILY25. There it is. To get 25 bucks off your order. So with that being said, be sure to check out the link below to get your designs made of cool materials and stuff. Do it! So here we are, one whammon, one dream, to be able to Healy off into the sunset unbothered by the stress of ordering online. Knowing that I spent just as much money to make them as it would cost to just go buy some. Introducing fake Healy, feely, that doesn't sound right. So, um, we bought a house. And I'll show you more in another video because I actually have like a garage now, which is why it did, it's echoing so bad. Ah, I am by myself and uh, I don't really see this 
going too well. So I'm gonna be very careful testing it out by myself and then proceed to get other people to come over to not be quite as careful. Do, 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 do. We're fine. I put grip on the bottom of them again so I don't die. <laughs> How do you use these things? Like, Wait. like you. Like that? Yeah. Oh, it's healing for nothing. <laughs> Wait, that's the big brain move. Jonathan Strat. But all of this fun came to a halt. I had posted a TikTok about my wonderful recreation, but everyone in the comments was like, they have a website, ordered them online, website, but go off queen. I couldn't let these people tell me that all my hard work was in vain. I needed to be able to prove once and for all that this was all worth it. So I thought to myself, what's something I can't do with actual Heelys that I can do with mine? Introducing 3D printable Heelys that aren't actually Heelys. They're loud and clunky, so you can assert your dominance when people are trying to talk over you. Hey Emily, you might have a with the dishes. I mean, it's not that many. Can you help me? I could really use your help. They're so bulky that if I were to drop an LKEZS8L water fountain on my foot, my toes would be fine. And because the wheels on mine are printed out of PLA and not like a grippy, rubbery material like actual Heelys, you have the ability to unexpectedly slide left and right as well as forward and back. Do you see anything? See what? And last but not least, my Heelys are so uncomfy that other uncomfy things actually start to be slightly more comfortable. I was actually able to watch that one episode of SpongeBob where Squidward's toenail gets ripped off and I only cringed half as much as I used to as a kid. Who'd put that in a kid's show? Okay, also for any of you that actually want to print this cursed file for yourself, uh, I'll put the link in the description. You can go download it for free if you've got a printer to print it on. And uh, also if you have a printer to print it on, I am also now selling Proud 3D Printer Mom and Proud 3D Printer Dad shirts so you can go around and tell people how proud you are of your 3D printer, you know, when it, when it works. So links to that will also be in the description. Thank you for watching. Bye!